Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to share with you a free tool that we are using in my workplace to fill in signed PDF forms. Insert your e-signatures or sign PDF forms with e-signatures and I'm going to show it to you. It's actually Adobe Acrobat. It's a free download from Adobe's website. I'll place a link on the description below. So if you open this one, you will have on this left panel an option and you will see fill in sign. Go ahead and click that one. Once you have clicked that one, you can click any part of the form and type in the information that's needed. That's my name. That's my ID number. You can go ahead and click the check mark if you want to check mark these things. You can also get that X mark if there's an option that you can do X mark. One more thing here, you can change the colors of those things that you're trying to input. Now, the next thing that I want to show you guys is let's just go ahead and try and uh, input something here like eight days. I'll just go ahead and change that one to black and type in eight. And then I'm going to select it's going to be hours or days. So I'm just going to go for leave for eight days. I'm going to select that one, put a rectangular uh, part there and it's going to uh, indicate that that's for eight days. Now, the next thing here is, okay, let's go ahead and type in, oops, uh, we're not going to unauthorize only one, okay? And I'm just going to go ahead and type my name, of course, before I'm going to sign it because it's a signature of our printed name. I'm going to select that um, cursor there, type in my name, Ginard Guaki. Oops, that's yellow or orange. So I'm going to delete that one and then Try and put in the black color. Then type in my name, Ginard Guaki. One thing that you can see here, guys, is before I'm going to drag that um, um, signature that I have there or insert that e-signature, I want to make my name a little bit bigger. So you can click this one and then you will have the option at the side. You can drag that one. There you go. Make it bigger so we can read the name. And then drag in that. Uh, wait, that's blocking me so that I can see. I can click it there and then drag it back like that. So I can also make this one bigger if I want to. Then here you can uh, select an option to highlight something if you want to highlight something into the form. Then if you want to go ahead and underline or strike through, you can use that one as well. I'll try it here. I'll change the color with red. <laughs> Good. And of course, here you can also draw circles, rectangle. I think I did the rectangle, yeah. Then, of course, if you want circle, you can go ahead and circle, all right? Another thing you can do here is you can add up to two signatures if you are using a free version. I'm going to delete that one so that I can add a new one. So I'm going to add, and you have an option to add an image of your e-signature. If you don't have, you can draw if you have a touch screen or you can use your mouse, okay, and apply that. Then, of course, I'm going to go ahead and close this one. It's going to be saved there at the bottom. And I just, I'm just going to drag that one so that you can see. And of course, like what I've shown you before, you can actually make it bigger. Yeah, like that. Okay, so there's another option here if you don't want to install Adobe Acrobat. You can go ahead to Adobe's fill in sign online software. So the only thing, the difference is you upload a file, you fill it, then you sign it, and then you're going to download it. That's the free version of this uh, fill in sign, okay? So that the, the option is yours on how you wanna use the online or you get to install and download the Acrobat Reader. To tell you guys, there's also a mobile app for this that is from Adobe and it is called Adobe Fill in Sign. For me, I've already installed it. As you can see, the purple one, Adobe Fill in Sign. If you are on Android, go to Play Store, search for it. If you are on Apple, of course, you go ahead to App Store and download it. So I opened this one already. And you can see that it has a very similar interface with the something that we have installed in our PC. It's just that this is touch screen, so you need to tap on your screen. And then you can drag uh, the things that you have typed. And then, of course, you can go ahead and delete that if you want. Then, of course, let's try to scroll down here so that you can see how it really works. What else can we do? How about doing some check mark? There you go. We can check that one. And, of course, tap it and you can move it as easy as that. Now, let's try to do some signature. So, you scroll down here. You can see that draw icon. Just tap on it and create initials. Of course, this is touch screen. So, we are just going to draw our finger on it just like that. I'll do it again so that you can see. I'll clear that one, then type a signature, and then done. That's it. 
Okay, so hope you have learned something from this video, guys. See you in my next video.